Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to your video on 3.5 entitled Momentum, and we're concentrating on collisions. So what actually occurs during collision depends on both the mass and velocity of the objects that are colliding together. This gives us <clears throat> something called momentum. Momentum is based on the mass of the object multiplied by the velocity of that object. And momentum is given by the symbol of a lowercase p. The equation is lowercase p equals m times v, which is mass times velocity. Now, when two objects collide, it can be very dangerous, as you know. In order to analyze this collision, we must focus on the relative velocity, sorry, the relative masses of the objects involved in the collision. It's not always the same scenario every single time. All different objects have different masses. For example, all vehicles on the road do not have the same mass. Trucks and SUVs, as we know, have greater masses than compact cars. All automobiles have greater masses than people, people walking or people on bikes. This makes cars very dangerous to us pedestrians. Now here's a scenario. If a massive truck were to strike a pedestrian, unfortunately, the pedestrian would, would move away from the point of collision and would have a greater velocity than it initially had, than he or she initially had, possibly resulting in injury or death. Sad face. So here's a question. Can a high-speed car have the same momentum as a massive truck? Is it possible? We said it depends on relative masses, but does velocity have a factor as, or impact this factor as well? And the answer is yes. They can't have the same <clears throat> momentum. Here's an example. A car and a truck. If my car has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, moves at a speed of 20 meters per second, mass times velocity gives me momentum. It's 20,000 kilograms times meters per second. If a truck is way more massive than a car, that's 10,000, a mass of 10,000 kilograms, has a speed of 2 meters per second, mass times velocity equals momentum, is 20,000 kilograms meters per second. Now these have the same momentum. They would affect you the same way. A high-speed a high speed car and a slow-moving truck would have the same impact. You wouldn't think so. You would think, oh, a truck moving at 2 meters per second, that's so slow, that would be nothing. But the math says otherwise. So collisions between two objects often involve a change in momentum for each object. For example, when a moving Sorry, this is just say when a moving object strikes a stationary object, the first object slows down and the second object moves away at some speed. Object one loses momentum while object two gains momentum. In our next lesson, we're going to talk about changes in momentum and how we represent that mathematically. All right, gentlemen, take notes on this and come prepared next class to do work.